Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your mini reading focused on the advice for the week starting tomorrow, Monday, February 22nd, all the way through Sunday, February 28th. General as always, guys, it won't resonate with every single person, so please do take from this what makes sense for you. Release the rest, and if you're interested in any of my self-created decks, which I'll be featuring here today, I'll include that deck shop link down below. All right, Aquarius? And so let's get started. These are the three that we're going to be using to get things started, to get the conversation going between the masculine and the feminine and how perhaps you're both feeling at this point in time and what it is that you can focus on for the upcoming week. So this is my Thinking Man Oracle Volume 1 deck. We'll grab a card from the Woman's Intuition Oracle and the He Said, She Said Oracle. All right, guys, so let's begin. And of course, cross watchers are absolutely welcome. Let's see what the messages are for the week. For you, Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides focusing on the divine masculine here, whoever resonates with the masculine. What are they thinking and feeling when it comes to this connection? I gotta admit, I saved your pictures and our old texts on my phone. I read them sometimes. It makes me both happy and it breaks my heart just a little. I miss you. So if you are in separation from your masculine, my feminines, definitely missing you, thinking about you. And as this card says, they've saved pictures that you guys have either taken together or a, a photo of you, old text conversations, voice messages, and it causes them to really reminisce and think about you. Okay, that's where the masculine is at for the upcoming week. So let's take a look and see where the feminine is at. Are you missing your masculine as well? We'll see. From the Woman's Intuition Oracle, I'm guided to this one immediately. This one says, I will never love again. Okay, so you have a masculine who misses you, my feminines, and you really want your masculine to know that there's no one else that could possibly ever compare to this love that you guys have shared. And, you know, not to say that you're not going to get into other relationships if obviously you're moving on to someone else at this point or if you find love again they find love again, but the fact of the matter is no one I feel could ever compare to this masculine for you, if you resonate with that, my feminines. Okay, so let's grab an additional, additional dialogue message from the He Said, She Said Oracle. All right, so take whichever one of these messages makes sense, because this particular deck has a masculine and a feminine message. Ooh, this one says first date. He said, will you go out with me? She said, I'd love to. So maybe they're reminiscing about the first time that you guys went out or you're both feeling and remembering the memories from that first date. And that's how it all began. It started with that very first get together between the two of you. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else needs to come in for you for this mini reading. Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and grab some insight from my Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck. So all of the decks featured here today, guys, are my self-created ones. I was just guided to use them. So let's take a look and see what the messages are that present itself from this deck. Advice for the week for Aquarius. We have fulfilled... Somehow the universe knew that I was unfulfilled, something missing in my life. But I always tried to hide the pain through a tough exterior that covered such vulnerability. When we met, I was empty. My cup is now overflowing with love because of you. Because of you. Okay, so they know what it's like to finally feel this intense connection with somebody. Maybe that's what was missing before, that they literally were empty inside until you came into their life. But if you guys are missing each other and not together, something clearly happened here that drove a wedge between the two of you. We have everything. You are the one, my lover, my best friend, my peace, my safe place to land, my everything. I love you with every fiber of my being. You came into my life so unexpectedly. Life truly had a plan for us, and we were we are forever changed for the better. And I really do feel that for you guys resonating with this reading, Aquarius, that you both made an impact on each other's lives, your hearts, what you have endured in your life. You really imprinted on one another, okay? 
We have cleanse coming through here. Mistakes in love. It's a part of growing, living, loving. We don't always make the best decisions. We cross boundaries and go after those that are not meant for us or are good for us. We get our hands dirty. Through gained wisdom, time, and owning up to those mistakes, we create change. So if that is what you guys were dealing with, which is what drove a wedge between the two of you, Aquarius, perhaps in the upcoming week, this is something that can be worked through, finally cleansing that energy from the past and whatever happened here between the two of you. We also have unwavering belief. I never gave up. I want you to know that even on the most difficult of days of missing you, I never gave up on us. I always knew that there would be a day when we'd find our way back to each other. I really feel this, especially for my masculines, because clearly, you know, they're looking through just pictures, old texts, reading through past conversations. It makes them happy, but it also makes them feel really sad that you guys are not together and at the end of the day they really miss the feminine and I have a feeling because of that that's what's going to create change and movement for at least communication to begin on behalf of the masculine reaching out towards the feminine so let's go ahead and add to this with some additional messages from my silhouettes deck to add to this Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aquarius. So I feel the love between the both of you still. There's something very special about the first time you guys went out. The first time, perhaps, that you guys told each other you loved each other. For Aquarius, please. We have Spellbound. You've captured me with just one glance, your mere presence fascinates me beyond words and leaves me speechless. That is the effect that you have had on this person. They are spellbound by the thought of you. And not to say that things were perfect by any means, because it wasn't. We do have groom here, so for my feminines tuning in, perhaps your masculine is your husband, a groom, Okay, however way that's represented here. And it does say, I pledge my love to you from this day forward. Some of you guys might have been married to your masculine here, if that makes sense for you. Or you pictured a life with them long term, getting married someday, building a life together. Look at this. We've got fond memories. No matter where life takes us, you will forever be a part of my heart, my soul, my most cherished thoughts. And I really believe that for both of you. I don't think it's just the masculine. I feel my feminines, you reminisce about the good times that you have had with your masculine as well. And then we have stardust coming through here. This magical feeling that comes over me when you sprinkle your love all around me. I mean, this is coming through as a very magical connection between two people. But I feel perhaps that somebody made a mistake here. There could have been a lack of judgment, either on your part, their part, or both of you. But if you guys can cleanse this energy, which is what this card is all about, and leave the past in the past and just kind of focus on where you're at right now and where you ultimately see yourselves going, hopefully together, welcoming in the future, back together again. So that's what's coming through from that. Let's go ahead and grab some tarot here. This is my modern day Sears tarot and oracle. Tarot with a twist. If you're not familiar with this deck, this does contain new oracle messages as well as new court cards in addition to all of the traditional tarot cards. We've got the Ace of Swords. I love it because swords is air energy. So Aquarius, this is your own vibe coming through with that Ace of Swords. It's a breakthrough this card. It's a new beginning. It's also being able to make better decisions for yourself for this relationship, this connection. And if somebody or perhaps yourself might have gotten yourself entangled into a situation, for example, if there were infidelities, if there was a third party, or if you and your person have just been dealing with a lot of challenges in the partnership and you guys weren't seeing eye to eye, this sword energy allows you to really cut that drama out or cut people out of the equation that no longer belong in your life. 
because this is giving you a new beginning here with this person that you love, that you care for. And then we've got the white rose coming through here. So the white rose symbolizes purity, grace, innocence, humility, as well as a new beginning. Ace of Swords right next to that. Fresh start coming in for you and this person, Aquarius. It's beautiful. And this is really giving your love to the opportunity to bloom and grow once again. Could have been stagnant between the two of you. And then you've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is amazing. For some of you guys, maybe your person could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Money Matters is looking up as well, Aquarius, if you've been struggling in that area. But this does represent long-term success in your life. Love life included, this relationship included, you know. And because this could represent marrying into money, either you're really successful or they are, or the both of you together are two very successful, financially well-off people, which could be resulting in someone marrying into money, or both of you are. But it does represent security and happy energy for two people to build a life together. I love that. I love it. The messages for the week. It looks really positive and it looks good, Aquarius. Okay, so I wanted to grab some time frames here because I get asked a lot, when is something going to happen? Are we going to get back together? Are they going to call me? Are they going to reach out, etc., etc.? So I'm just going to grab some time frames for the collective. Take whichever one you're most guided towards here. Forgot to mention, this is my Time Traveler Oracle, okay? Very simple deck when you just need to know when something's going to happen here. And again, time frames are not guaranteed, guys, okay? Because time is fluid and everybody's got their own free will. But if you have a when question, this is the time to ask it. All right, angels and spirit guides, please, for Aquarius. So I'll grab three cards here. So take whichever one of these time frames makes sense for you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so this week, that is what we're focusing on here. So something might happen significantly for you in the upcoming week here. Since we're focusing on advice for the week, look at the next card. A matter of days for some of you. So there's something approaching rather soon, like quickly. Okay. And then we've got the spring season represented as well, which really isn't that far away from now. And bottom of the deck, something significant could be happening this last week of February. Oh my gosh, that's pretty amazing. All right, guys, so let's wrap it up here with some songs from my heart songs deck. All right, so wrapping things up here. If you're not familiar with the song, see if you resonate with the lyrics. Or this just could be your favorite song or your person or both of you. All right, angels and spirit guides, please. What song do we have? Ooh, gosh, we've got Yours by Shy. This is such a great song. As I look into your eyes, I often fantasize about your kiss, baby. And somehow I just knew that making love to you would be like this. I want to feel my skin against your skin, rub and kiss, and maybe then we can eat each other for dessert, babe. Holy crap. <laughs> there you go. That is your song for the week, Aquarius. So that's where I'm going to leave this one. I do hope that whatever part of this made sense for you, offered you advice you could use for the upcoming days here for the remaining days of February. And that's it for now, guys. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much. See you soon.